Show us your fish. Nice. How many pounds is that? Woo. <laughs> I used to go out on the boat with my dad when I was really young. So I started doing this on my own when I was probably 12 or 13. I think that's my first stern woman's job. Sometimes I would say I was a stern man. I mean, generally speaking, that's what I would say because I never really made it a point that I was a stern woman. You know, I was always proud, but I was never like overly proud. The boat that I learned to fish on was 18 feet. I only had like 150 traps back then, so I didn't need a big boat anyways, and I was just in high school. Yeah, some of the guys have named their boats. Some of them are derogatory, I guess, is what you would say. <laughs> I coordinate the sea sampling program for the state and also our juvenile lobster survey. All of our data will then ultimately be used to inform the management of the fishery. I know, I always used to say, like, I wish there was another one of me because I kick ass, you know? Like, yeah. I show up, I do a good job, I'm gonna bait a couple more bags. As for a woman, I mean, I've never struggled with the physical labor of this job. Um, I've always liked challenges, so it's not, you know, always been a big deal for me. And they probably don't want bait juice all over them too, you know, like I grew up around it and it's just kind of second nature to me. Bait's kind of like the smell of money. This is what I'm using for bait right now. Um, these are called owl wives. So usually what I do is I'll break them in half just because they're, you know, really oily and that gets the smell out there. So generally I would take them out like this and I would put them all in here. This is what I would be doing is measuring and banding. So this is a counter. It's over three and one quarter right uh -huh. there. If you blow on their claws, they'll shut them. It's a little trick I've learned along the way. A lot of people don't know. I thought I was going to study forestry in college and missed home so much that I decided to go into marine science instead. The first thing I do is measure that like Krista would do with the gauge. The second thing I do is turn it over. You can see this is a female because the first pleopods or swimmerettes are feathery. We can find a male in here. This one is a male and you can see the first pleopods are like tubes, little penises. I guess I don't really think about being a woman out here. I just feel like, you know, often I feel like I'm out here with, with friends. It should, it's probably 91 now. Right on, all oh, close, 91. <laughs> The wharf buys it for me and they'll send it to other buyers or processing plants. The processing plants will process the meat and then they'll sell to other buyers or different companies around the world. My 15th wedding anniversary, I was down here putting fish up. Ronnie bought me a new apron and I called it my dressy and I had my boots on up to here and I had my dressy on. I said, happy 15th anniversary, sweetheart. So a typical day is my phone will start ringing between three and four in the morning. The lobstermen, they'll come in. We go through the lobsters, repack them. We make all the crates 90 pounds. Uh, they get put in the, uh, the tank, and, what, and then from there, they go out. They'll get loaded on a processor truck either that night or they go out first thing in the morning. Oh. Be 
88 pounds. That's a lot of heavy lifting. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> um, two years ago, I had, was diagnosed with breast cancer in May. And I told the doctor I didn't have time for this because we were going into my busy season. And she asked me what my days were like. And I said, well, I work from four in the morning till 11, 12, one o'clock in the morning. And she goes, not anymore. I mean, my son stepped up to the plate. It was very rewarding to be able to come back to work. I'm still working on getting my strength back from being down for so long. They're a great bunch of guys I have fishing for me. They are. I got rid of all the assholes. Whoops. Get a lobster license. You have to go through the apprentice program to be a stern in on the back of somebody's boat. And then you get put on a waiting list. And from the sounds of it, the list is very, very long. So getting more women into the lobster industry, it's gonna take a long time.